So this is a continuation of Van Delver Chapter 5, Paths of Peril. And you all are in a place called Sorzula's Rest, which is an old Durgar mine that had been abandoned for quite some time. Uh, you found evidence that maybe mine flayers uh, overran the place centuries ago. And recently, some goblins moved back into the place. And these goblins, for some inexplicable reason, we're gathering stuff out of the village of Vandalin, and when you defeated the goblin leader, whose name was Ruxathid, you heard voices hissing. It seemed to almost come out of his brain, like they were embedded in his brain, and when you killed him, they were released. And they said, so you have succeeded. Good. The four shards arrive here soon. You think those might be the four shards they took out of Vandalin. Now three remain to be found. You know your task, little one. Collect the shards from Talhundareth, the crypt of the Talhund, and Gibbet Crossing, and bring them to us. You shall be reborn greater than you can imagine, and Phandalin shall become ours. So, those of you trained in religion, you could tell... Well, it's, it's, it's a means of communication unlike any known divine tradition. So some other kind of powerful entity or group of entities posing as gods are trying to accomplish some malign end. So you defeated this goblin. He had gathered four. Evidently, this group is looking for three more pieces of a black obelisk. And you have a map that you found in the ruins of this place, which uh, seem to point to where those three pieces are. The Star Metal Hills are east of you. Um... They're pointing to a place called Two Town, and you think that's Vandalin. Um, it's a journey of maybe four or five days to get to the Star Metal Hills from Vandalin. But you haven't explored a whole lot of this old Durgar ruins. I didn't want to just rush you out in case you wanted to look for any other signs of prisoners, because you came here in one aspect to find out why these black obelisk pieces are being taken. But the other aspect was many villagers have gone missing recently. Well, you found three of them. And their names are... I have it written down. Oh, good. Uh, Dareth Grint, the second cousin to Townmaster Harmon Wester. That's right. Paulina Praveen, a stable hand, and Tumblewick Rollins, a gnome apothecary, who I probably kept up all night talking about. Well, there hasn't been a night yet. We're going to pick up right where you oh, left off. You oh, are... we did not get a long rest? You did not get a long rest. Shoot. They I are all sickly and barely conscious. They okay. uh, share with you that the goblins did not explain much to them, um, but they do think the goblins were fixated on reassembling some kind of stone pillar, that there were more victims here at one point. However, they were taken somewhere else for a, quote, special purpose. Hmm. Ruxathid, who is the goblin leader that you defeated, who the voices came out of his head, Ruxathid used the east wing of the sanctum as his war room, and that's where you found the map. And... Yeah, that's where we left it at. So, um, there you guys are. What would you like to do? Could we have taken a short rest? You can, if you want to take a short rest right now. I'd like to take a long rest <laughs> so that my character sheet is reflective of what happened because I thought you told us we got a long rest and I already did it. No, that's you didn't get a long rest and you can just guess at how many spells you had left and how many powers you had left. I know your hit points are full. Oh, okay. Well, that was the one I was most worried about. Oh, no. You were, uh, you were at full hit points when we ended. Well, I used I used all three of my builds for success. Loam was not at full hit points, that's for sure. Loam is pretty, pretty I'm battered. Not, I'm not. <laughs> I used... You don't have to tell okay. us You don't have to tell us out loud what your thoughts are. I'm I, muttering to myself. I apologize. <laughs> oh, um, well, then I'm going to... Uh, uh, did I use Loam? I, did I... Do you, do you remember if you used a healer's kit after our last short rest? Yeah, I think so. I think you did too. Okay, so I can't do that. I'll uh, give you a cure wounds. The place is stifling hot, obviously, with the lava gurgling to the left and to Ooh. the right. The blue light kind of, you know, Thanks, is, Kimble. is you painful bet. on the eyes. You wrap it's up the map. Pretty. You wrap up the map and it's kind of pretty, yeah. Tuck it in your uh, belt. The prisoners want to get out of here as fast as they can, if they can, um, if you'll help them. 
Yep. Did they uh, did they see any like uh, secret passages or did they see them go to one specific area more than another? No. Is any of this no? No. Did they know why they have long snouts? Was that covered at all? No. Oh, okay. And while you take your short rest, uh, of course you can look around this place and you don't find anything that you've missed. Mm. Mm. So short rest is over. You gather your stuff. Mm-hmm. You're gonna head on out or stay here. No. I'm, I'm gonna something... vote for gonna be delivered that they said nothing's gonna be delivered here. Oh, okay. i think it was delivered to wherever the voices currently oh, are. oh correct yeah so the voices that you heard erupt it seemed to make sense to you what gimbal just said the four stone pieces that you hoped to find here are already gone having been delivered to someone else but those people are still looking for three stone pieces and maybe you can beat them to them maybe you'll meet them there uh, maybe you'll find evidence of where they're at or you might find evidence of where they're at by searching the rest of this room. Yeah, let's search the rest of the room. Yeah. Okay, you guys head up the steps onto the platform. It moves up to the upper level. And you're at the back side of the door that was at the front of that pyramid. It opens um, easily from the inside. And now you're looking out across the, the stone causeway. Yep, up there. With your prisoners in tow. Not prisoners, your uh, <laughs> rescuees in tow. You. And you see again the dwarves. Uh, they look like um, undead. They're desiccated. Their eyes glow with otherworldly power. Three of them are pantomiming, uh, chipping stone away at that wall. And then there's three others, slightly different looking, who seem to be more attentive of their surroundings. You also hope that Joldak is somewhere around, but you don't see him right away. The ones that were more attentive of their surroundings. They let you pass. Um, you get a sinking feeling they might not let you pass the other direction. But they make no move when you first open the door. So, what do you want to do now? Wait, I'm a little confused. Which direction would do they... We don't think they will, will let us pass? To the right there? So these guys, they let you pass onto the causeway. Okay. You're not sure they're going to let you come back from the causeway. Uh. They seem almost like they're waiting to uh to attack mm-hmm. you don't know you just can't get that sense you you know what whole jack was doing if they have the same powers as whole jack and you think they're the same creatures as whole jack he had this necrotic shard he would shoot which mm-hmm. did significant piercing and necrotic damage he also mm-hmm. had this thing called a psionic crown that he'd put on people and it would breathe their head with a crown of jagged spectral crystals and they would be attacking those around them um, so not good. Great. Actually, it doesn't mean they were, they were, t- they weren't attacking those around them, but it would make them sluggish speed halved. Um, it would take psychic damage, etc. What's the surface below the causeway? Is that lava? It's lava. It's lava. You don't want to be on that bridge for long. You'd want to rush across it to safety before they attack. If they're going to attack. Yeah. I would say rush, try to rush back over to hold Jack and, See if he could escort the prisoners out, maybe? That sounds like a plan. Yeah. Let's... You can certainly cast any kind of protective spells you want before you make that run. I don't I think we're going to run the prisoners by these jokers. I think we got to kill them. I, or I, yeah, destroy I them. You we could, don't uh, have a cleric, do we? You could guide the prisoners to hide in the corner back here. Yeah. While you guys uh, storm the dwarves. So, should we, you notice... Should you know, we some, use this? You know, something important is that those three dwarves that are hunched over aren't paying attention to you at all, but the three standing ones seem to be paying attention. Okay. Let's... Mm. So, if you don't mind casting spells, you can go ahead and move toward Holjack and probably stop your lead person when he gets to these... the first person to get to the top of these stairs. Um... Or if you're flying, the first person to get to about here wouldn't stop with whatever order you're in after they get there. I'm going to get to it, like, right there. <laughs> so I'm not on that bridge. You can be further than that. You can get all the way over to those stairs. The lead oh, person can be at the top of the stairs. if they. Want. How how tall is this, like, ledge here? That ledge there? It is each step of it. Let me describe it. Let's see if it's 15. Um, okay, the cliff strip mine. There's three levels of wooden scaffolding. 
uh, lying the 30 foot tall cliff of dark stone. So each of these step levels is about 10 feet. Okay. All right. How close do you guys want to get? Loam, Califon, you want to be all the way back there or do you want to be closer? I'm getting up to there because um, I'm planning on going up the other stairs. Yeah, okay. I think I'm going to go with uh, Gimbal. <clears throat> yeah, let's do that. Okay. Go, sorry. Well, nothing happens until you move a little further. So put the first person at the next level up. And then everyone else where you want to be when they get there. Uh, yeah, who, who's going to be... Who's our melee people here? That's me. Or, okay. Then then you go up first and I'll go up after you. Alright. You say melee or meat shields? I didn't... You, you broke up. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going this way then. Well, no, I thought we would go both ways. I oh, okay, okay. Pin, right. Pinch your action. Got it. All right. But everyone where we want to be... five foot squares? Yeah, it's squares oh. five feet. And okay. once you're happy where you're standing, roll initiative. Hey, Loam, were you out of hit dice? I only had one left. Tom, would you be okay if I, uh, I knew that? Going into the short rest, I could have done something? Uh, yeah, go ahead. All right, so I still had my uh, uh, wildfire spirit at the beginning of the short rest, right? I don't recall. Yeah. Probably. Oh, yeah, because it didn't it didn't die during the uh, battle. Gotcha. So, uh, so just so I can get the healing benefit when I do this. Mm. Oh, trying whiskey. So you would get. I click the button, Tom. Sometimes the macros stop. I have to restart them. You restart them real quick. Sorry. Nope. Or no, that worked. I'm sorry. That's there great. it is. We'll take the first All right. one. There you go. So you would heal 11 from that Great. two wounds, and then I would give you the second because that would not get you full, right? Um, I'm pretty close with the well, 50 then... out of 54 with that first one. Yeah, and then there well, was 64, right? Uh, yeah, what do you know? There you go. Right. You to... <laughs> it's numbers, you know. He's stouter than he thought. And then, uh, uh, so then you get 13 back on the second one, and I'll cross off two more first levels. Brilliant. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thank the wildfire spirit. Uh, okay. Gimbal, you've rolled. Titus rolled. Califon's rolled. Jeff, good roll initiative. Go. Okay. So just as you suspected, Califon, as soon as you step up there, the one closer to you turns and begins to uh, mumble sort of, sort of arcane uh, words. Titus, you see this happening, and you're able to react before his spell finishes, you see him move into attack Titus, and you go first. All right. So it's these that we're seeing that are being hostile. Yeah. In fact, the only thing you're seeing being hostile is this this guy right there, on the end. All right. Uh, then, what we are gonna do is, since I haven't seen him be hostile, I will just ready a produce flame. You have. If you know he's attacking. But you okay. beat him to it. All right. All right. Then, uh... I like to not uh, give the people that win initiative disadvantage. I'm not that good at initiative, and I shouldn't have rolled this high. But, uh, but yeah. Then we'll go ahead and... Yeah, there's no good place for me to... Or there's air up there, right? So yeah. there, I could summon the Wildfire Spirit right here and only hit him yeah. for 10-foot radius? Yeah. All right. Then I will do that. Wildfire Spirit, activate. Like a Power Ranger, and that's so on it's your there, character. and it's high enough so that it only hits this guy. So wherever high it needs to be. Okay. So when it appears, that is on my token, and fifteen dex save. She fails. He takes eight fire, mm -hmm. and then bonus action, the Wildfire Spirit will spit at him, mm -hmm. horribly missing, and will just be flying out this way. End of turn. Okay, so this guy sees you come up, Califon. He is okay. going to go ahead and do a multi-attack that includes two attacks and a psionic crown. He'll hit you with the psionic crown first. Okay. So this is going to be the wreath of uh, the crown of jagged spectral crystals. You don't take any damage now, but at the start of your turn you will. Uh, 14 wisdom save will negate it. Okay. So I roll now or the start of my Roll turn? now. Okay. Uh, Good. Yeah, you just shake that off. Then he oh. hurls two necrotic shards your direction, critting oh, you don't with shake the first that shot, off. Yep. doing 19 piercing and 25 necrotic. Mm. And then his second one is a 22. Yep, that also hits. Doing 8 piercing and 15 necrotic. So 25? Let me see. 19 oh. plus 25 was... plus 8 plus 15. Yep. 
67 hit points. So Caliphon drops uh, from the shards. Caliphon also put a pink dot on your guy. Your next attack roll before the end of your next turn will have dispatch if you yep. are brought back up. Uh, after this thing does that... That escalated quickly. He, he climbs down, uh, taking uh, one, two, three, four squares of movement, five squares of movement to there, and you see him reaching down to like strangle the life out of, out of Caliphon. And Jeff, you go next. Oof. Okay, so with the um, altitude difference here, can I hit him from here? Uh, it's a stretch. We'll say he's got cover, and you can. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, I'll go up the stairs. And it's how much so movement to go one, up these? Two, three, four, five to get up to the top. Okay. Then I will. Okay. I'll attack that guy that's attacked the Caliphon from here. And I'll throw a. Uh oh, where it is. There you go. Pushing attack. So 26, 4, 17. And I'll try to push him 15 feet. All right. Uh, it's a strength save. 16 strength save. He fails. And you push him right. into this chamber, which you can just see a little bit of from where you're at. Um, what you see in the chamber, you see uh, crates stacked against the walls, a conveyor system um, with buckets hanging from it. And you recall there was a conveyor system um, up above. So this goes. This conveyor system here goes up through the ceiling, probably to the conveyor system that's on the higher level. Where oh, and that was in that room with the other. Yes, the other people like this. The other people like them. Yeah. Okay. All right. It then, else, Jeff. Yeah, I'll attack again. If that hits, he's got another cover, picture. and if you don't ignore cover, that misses. Oh, he's got cover where he's from. This is on the same. This point right there is uh, oh, 10 okay. feet high. Yeah. All right. So, sorry, that's a miss then? Correct. Okay. Then, bonus action, disengage, and move there. I think that's the last of my movement. Yeah. And uh, just around the corner, you see Joldak. And you want to say anything? Uh, hmm. Help? Okay. Maybe. He'll join. In the next round, after Jeff comes Califon. Califon, death saving throw, please. That is a fail. Red one. Awesome. Gimbal, your turn. Red round, red round. Uh, Gimbal will climb up and pour a uh, his last um, Gimbal's Miracle Elixir down uh, Califon's throat, healing him for 12. Well, thank you so much. Um, and then Gimbal will climb back down and move to there. Okay. And then Loam. Loam will come down the causeway just a bit until he can see the guy who attacked poor Califon. Okay. I know. And uh, put a hunter's mark on him. Okay. And then uh, shoot him with a couple of arrows. <laughs> see, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Well, um, um... 15 and 12 is 17 regular. And then it, you're going to do four psychic? Yeah. Okay, I'll take two of that. And then there's the hunter's mark, too. Got it. Okay. And then the second arrow. Also hit. 23, 4, 16. another. Okay, two good shots Ouch. on them. And that's the end of the round. I don't think I missed anyone. So now, next round, I'm going to add whole Joldak in. This turn, I have to look at that. That's quick. And... Um, this one, just to the northeast of you, Loam, joins the skirmish. But he's dead slow, coming last in the initiative order. So that is this one here. Looks like he's joining. Titus, your turn. All right. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, how much how much feet of movement to climb up the ladder? Uh, basically 20 feet. All right. So Unless you have a climb speed. Nope. So if I do that, that would be, since Califon's on the ground, I could over him easily enough? Yeah, you can just zag, zigzag around him. Go to there. Gotcha. Go to there. Okay. And then, uh, looks like Califon is up. Yep. 
So what we're going to do is uh, we will produce a flame at this guy. Oh, <laughs> nice shot. I'm sorry, was that or... guy to your east or to your west? The the one that's everybody's east. been working on. got it. Yes. Okay, 24 fire plus you get your summon spirit, so actually 27 fire? Yeah. Okay. Nice job. He has no fire resistance, 27 fire kills him. And, you know, he's burning and smoldering there. And in the burning and smoldering light there, you see something kind of kindle up deeper in the room. Um, just in the room there. Oh, oh yeah, I pulled the next mod. So, <laughs> what you see, first you see, like, flames kind of kindle and spark to, spark to life. And then they start, like, spinning, almost like in a circular pattern. And then... They grow, and next you see basically a almost a self-powered or self-moving mining auger engulfed in flames, lurching to life. Um, and it looks like this guy up here. Oh my! All and, right, and well, that guy is dead. <clears throat> oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, so with that, we will use our bonus action to command the spirit, and we haven't seen anybody else do bad, evil things. Uh. You see this one moving to attack. Wait, oh, sorry, this one. But you're faster than him, so you get to beat him to it. All right. Uh, do I think that that machine is able to traverse this? No, that looks too narrow for it. Looks like it can basically make a straight line down to here, and then it could go west, but only about to here. All right, no problem then. Bonus action. I'll do what I was going to do. And... Uh, just get next to Caliphon and myself, and we are going to fiery teleport. Caliphon, you can go anywhere within 15 feet. I am going to take cover in there. Am I still, uh, what's the word? Bro? Supine? Yeah. End of turn. Okay. And Thank next you. is Joldak. So, Joldak, he comes out, he steps out, he says, uh, right behind you, Jeff, and he speaks in Duergar to the one beginning to act he says my brother this is not a fight that you should start and he will ready necrotic shard to hit him with if he doesn't stop you can't tell jeff if he is gonna stop or not gonna stop what do you want to do and this the last guy we haven't seen anything <laughs> no from right nope then i will hold an action if he acts aggressively the other guy Okay. Then I'll attack. Caliphon, your turn. Uh, I will... Um, one second. I'm going to actually try to use an item. Because um, I'm down to 12, and then I want to get back in the fight. So I have two potions of healing. I will use a potion of healing on myself. Yep, there it is. Uh, eight points. And then I will just stand there. Your turn, Gimbal. Uh, Gimbal's going to move one, two, three, four. Five. It's actually... Three, four, five, six. Oh, it's six to get to there? Yeah. You're climbing 10 feet at half speed, so it's 20 feet of movement. Um, I don't think I want to do that. Because um, that looks like that boar, that giant flaming drill can get to me from there, right? Like It, it does, yeah. Yeah, well, I don't want that. Uh, instead, I'll stay on the ladder. Okay. And then I'll uh, just kind of peek over the edge and uh, aim my arm cannon at the miners and ready a uh, fireball. All right, Loam, your turn. I'm going to move my hunter's bark to the guy who seems to be uh, coming alive okay. or coming undead, as the case may be. <laughs> and, and then I'm going to shoot it. Uh, that is a 24 for 11, 10, 10. Eight, nine, he ignores one of that, so he takes nine. And then one more shot. And that looks like a big fat miss at 14. His turn. He's going to initiate an attack. So, Jeff, you get to go. Joldak gets to go. Right. Joldak throws a shard at him. Misses him. Jeff hits him. Does seven. And when you do a readied attack, do you get two if you have multi-attack? Or Just do you one. want to get the one? Okay. Then that is all. Uh, okay. I hit 22 for 11 fire. 11 fire. Okay. Multiple targets for this guy. Um, I guess, Gimbal, you did the most. Who's going to do the Scient Crown on you, Gimbal? A 14 Wisdom save negates it. 
I'm going to use my inspiration on this. Okay. Awesome. Uh, damn it. And I don't have any builds for success left. Cause okay, then those... it's going to turn attention to Loam has no cover, or Jeff has no cover. We'll do Loam. Greg Shard and you, Loam. Uh, 17 is a hit. Or 12 piercing and 12 necrotic. And then one more necrotic shard on you is a miss. And then at the end of that round, add the fight, the auger. And the last of those guys. It's pretty quick. Go. And Titus, you're next. All right. Uh, I can see the thing powering up. Yes. It is starting to lurch into motion. Um, All right. Before uh, you. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, we will attempt to uh, produce a flame on it, missing horribly. And then we will. Tell the spirit to attack the guy that's attacking our friends. Missing horribly. <laughs> End of turn. All right. Then it's Joldak's turn. He is going to keep firing on the one you guys are all firing on. He's going to do his silent crown on the new one that's joining the fight. 14 wisdom save for that new one to resist the crown. Wisdom does not resist. Ouch. So he's a crown. Mm -hmm. And then he'll fire the shards on the other one. 16, but cover and miss and miss. Okay, so he's done. Jeff, your turn. All right, can I push somebody through another person? Generally, no. Okay. I mean, you can try and push them both, but no, mm. generally not. Okay. I like the MCDM role playing game where you can uh, do damage to both of them by doing that. Oh, yeah. No, but I'm not trying to. I'm trying to push this guy down the stairs. Down the stairs. Oh, right. right yeah, I know. Um, okay, then I'll attack. The uh, guy who has been attacking. Uh, there we go. And we'll throw. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. So 29 for 8. 29 is a hit. Nice. Got it. Do that again. 20 is a hit. 20 for 10. All right. But I will start backing up. Okay. Now you have the one close to you and Holt Joldak, and Joldak's thing goes off. The Scient Crown does 11 psychic damage to him. He takes 5 of that. Um start of his turn. Let's see. Thoughts are sluggish. No reaction. Speed is half. So he will try and do his side crown on you, Jeff. 14 wisdom save negates that. Gimbo, you have the crown going, right? I'll do the... I do. Let's do the crown symbol for you. That. Okay. All right. 14 wisdom save, you say? Yes. Right. I will use my inspiration. No huh? problem. Cool. Okay, then he will try and necrotic shard jewel deck. Uh, 15 is a miss. 17 is a hit, 10 piercing, and 13 necrotic. He resists necrotic, so that's only 6, so 16 damage. Joel Dax hurting. Um, that's not extend. Caliphon, your turn. All right, I'm going to move forward to here. Uh, rise, rise up, um, and I will strike with my two-handed longsword. Uh, 16 for 5. 16 is a hit. Uh, 14 for 14. 14 is a miss. Yep. And I will town him for uh, 8 points of damage. Yeah. All right. And then I, because I'm mobile, I will 1, 2, 3, 5. Can I scoot in next to Titus here? No. Right. Okay. Uh, you're um, doing Gimbal. Uh, do I take damage? Yes, you do. You have the Scient Crown going, take 10 Psychic, and your speed is halved, and no reactions. That's fine. I'm going to shoot the asshole who did this to me. Okay. Oh, for shot. And, fire. and then I'm going to climb back down. Okay. As even with half speed movement, I can get to the bottom. Yes, you could. And now I make another save. Yes, you do. 14 Wisdom. Nice. You can Boom. Off that. Gimbal's done. Loam, your turn. Loam's going to shoot the one that's... Uh, mostly dead right through the eye socket with an arrow yep yep you do pin him to the wall yes move the um hunter's mark to the the one on the left it's only on and... subsequent rounds when you drop some oh okay then i won't do that but i will shoot him for 14 damage 14 shots okay after loam comes the auger. What can the auger? Mm -hmm. uh, cast. 
cast a mass cure wounds on us? I don't think that's what it's going to do. I thought you were open to suggestions, so. Okay, it uh, starts spinning that auger wheel at a rapid pace, and it shouldn't be able to come through here, but it actually starts augering its way toward you, Titus, uh, at half speed. So, one, two, is that here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And just before it closes that last gap, it does a burst of heat, which is going to affect Titus and Caliphon. Just this roiling, fiery furnace heat comes down the, the tracks toward you two. It's going to do 23 fire damage to each of you, a 17 con save or half. Well, I'll take half anyway. And then it finishes oh, yeah. closing the distance there, and then it does a flaming drill. 22 to hit for 25 piercing and 12 fire. And it doesn't it do its extra damage because it was augering its way through, not moving at full speed. All right. So it was 25, 25. piercing, 12 fire, so 31 total. Whew. It's done. Rounds over. Uh, Titus, your turn. All right. Well, that changes what I was going to do. Uh, we will lean over to Caliphon and cast a Cure Wounds. If I wanted to upcast it, does it just automatically do it? or? Yeah, just announce what you're going to do that. It'll be on. Okay, second level. So you get 15. back 15. Oh, thank you. And uh, then I will use my <clears throat> bonus action yeah. to tell the everyone. fire spirit tell the fire spirit to come over and do fiery teleport. I generally die about four times every time. It's kind of a fun grind. <laughs> All right, so then uh, he comes over here, and we fiery teleport. Uh, Caliphon, you can be anywhere within 15 feet. Perfect, thank you. Joldak does not recharge his special power. Then he will fire on the guy you guys are attacking. Twice with Necrotic Shard. Missing the first one. Hitting with the second one. No, it's not with the second one. Joldak's done. He's going to move back out of your way, Jeff, so you have no, don't have to worry about cover. Excellent. And then Jeff, your turn. Okay. Uh, <laughs> stay where I'm at. Steady aim. Attack the ghosty dude. Okay. Uh, That's a hit. Yeah, 28 for 11. And we'll do that again. Yeah, 14's a... Yes. Well, actually, that was 30, the last one. But yeah, that's a miss. And I'm done. Okay. Then the Sonic. Um, so he's got Joldax Crown doing... 12 or 6 to him. Slowed. See if he recharges his crown. It does. So he's going to use that on Jeff again. Sonic crown, Jeff, coming your way. All right. Oh. No! Okay, you can put the crack skull on your guy. No damage to start. It'll be at the start of your turn. Then he's going to do no crack shard on you. Oh, I took damage uh, last time, both times. So oh. I get some... You only Actually... do damage at the start of your turn. Not when you get hit by it. Oh, okay, well then I'll figure out how much I did and add that back. <laughs> so the Necrack Shard on you, Jeff, is a 19. Okay. With 13 piercing and 13 necrotic. Okay. No, sorry, real quick. I see it says charm for one minute. Yes. And I have the advantage against... Charm effects? Charm. Oh, well then you made it. Cool. Um, that was good news there. Yeah. Second so attack is also hit for 12 more piercing and 17 more necrotic. He's done. Caliphon, your turn. All right. I will stand up. I have a bonus action step of the wind to get here. Um, I will attack. Hold up just a second, Caliphon. Jeff, did yeah. you go down from all that? Yeah, I think that's 29. So, yeah, I'm down. Okay. Just in case that changes what you do, Caliphon. Your turn, Caliphon. Um, no, I'm just going to kill this guy. So, I'm going to scroll up and then I'll come down to you in a second. Um, I will. Oh, shoot. All right, I will go and give you, because you're doing a lot more damage than me, um, I will give you my potion of healing. Nice. I, mean, I, I have one. You can use one I have. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I, you used yours. And uh, finish me where you want, Caliphon? Okay, that's what I was going to ask. And Kimball, go ahead. Ooh, Caliphon, you're going down a new so tunnel. That one? Yeah, try oh. to, definitely try to tell <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, don't. that could happen. <laughs> 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 Gimbal, your turn. 
Gibble's going to climb up the uh, ladder and uh, try to firebolt the psionic. Okay. Uh, 22 and for 14. Good, good shot. 14. Thanks. And then I'm going to climb back down. Comes Loam. Hey, Loam's going to now move the hunter's mark. Got it. And shoot the psionic dude. Missing once and missing twice. After Loam comes the auger. So it is going to recharge its uh, burst of heat, maybe? Oh, no, it does. So it goes one, two, three, four, five. I guess there will do its burst of heat. I'll affect all of you guys and this one dwarf over here. When you say all of us, you mean the, even the ones who are down? Just uh, Gimbal, just Titus. Um, so being down on this lower road does not protect against actually, the Actually, um... Burst of heat, I don't think is a spread. Let me double check. At least intense burst of heat, 30 foot radius sphere, not a spread. So, yeah, he has no direct line of effect to you, Gimbal, so you're safe. <laughs> <laughs> Titus, not so much, uh, but Titus at least resists. Yeah, Titus is made of fire. Fire uh, hurts. The dwarf, he will. Not quite enough. He takes 17 fire, he takes full fire damage, minus 17 go and then the auger finishes the move and strikes at titus with a flaming drill hitting massively dropping titus yep ouch and then uh this dwarf is going to join the fight but you think maybe on your side semi the one that got burned by the the auger is turning oh, yeah. to attack the auger As that runs over titus death Honestly, save please yeah. all right which one do i press for the uh, the save? one adjacent to initiative Starts with an A in your armor class. Just so that's 20. a success. So put a green three or green one there, and then you can do your fire spirit. Whatever it does when you don't yep, get it. It can hands. do whatever it wants. Nice. So uh, it is going to target the auger because that's what killed his buddy. 20, 20. is a hit, but the auger appears to be immune to fire. Yay. Uh, is it feeling threatened? No. It will stay there to be kind of close to me. Joel Dak, um, CP recharges his crown. He does, but he's already got some ground. Uh, he could try the auger if it was in range. He doesn't know if it'll work on the auger or not. So he'll try the auger with the psionic crown. The auger is immune to charm, so it's not going to work on him. Then he'll take two of his shards and attack the other undead that's close to him that you're all focusing on, and miss and miss, and then move back. It'll be done. And then, Jeff, your turn. Okay, we're going to... Move down here. Bonus section hide. 15, or I don't know if I get. Yeah. 15 should probably be enough to be it. In. Okay. Then take one step up there. Attack the ghosty dude. That's a hit. So 26. And, yeah, and then do that again. That's uh, a miss. That's a miss. So I'll move back there. Okay. Okay. Sonic turn is going to take some damage from Joel, Joel Dak with his crown. Ooh, 20 Psychic. It does 10 to him. And then see if he recharges his crown. He does not. He will turn his shards toward Joel Dak. 18 is a hit. Or 8 piercing. And 16 is 8 more is 18. Joel Dak goes down. Oh no. I think the spirit leaves his body. That was one shot. Second shot from the psychic will be on Caliphon. Shard. That's it. Caliphon for 10 piercing and 10 necrotic. And Caliphon, All let's right. save. That's my turn. Let's save, Caliphon. One, a red one, please. And then Gimbal, your turn. All right. Gimbal's going to climb the ladder uh, and reach over. Does Titus have a uh, potion of healing on him? Yes. Unless he All used right. them both. Nope. I haven't used any. Then one of them will get poured down your throat. All right, Gimbal, you can have inspiration back. And then Gimbal will climb back down and move this way. So that would be one, uh, three up, three actually three up, three down, right? Yep. Your turn, Loam. Okay, Loam's gonna finish this uh, next psionic dude with a arrow through the throat. Oh yeah, that killed him. Keep calling and shots like that. And then he's going to hit the auger. Actually, this one's going to miss, but 14. 14 does miss. 
glancing off the uh, steel plating of the front of the auger in the auger's turn. See if it recharges its burst of heat. It does. It will Thanks. move to there. Fire off the burst of heat. Six. It's gonna get two of the dwarves. It's gonna get Loam. It's gonna get Gimbal. It's gonna get Titus. It's gonna get the fire spirit if that matters. It's 26 fire for 17 con save halves it. And then it starts like burrowing through the wall there. So now that's all at the same level as the tracks to how far it's gotten. And then it's going to do its flaming drill on the dwarf, which is a hit. Oh, oh look at that. Whoa. For 26 piercing and 6 fire is 32 damage. And the auger is done. Uh, I see Gimbal made a save. Lo made a save. Fire Spirit and Titus. A couple saves. Oh, I, I made, or I failed my save. Oh, I see you made yours too. Yeah, the Fire Spirit's immune to fire. Got it. Okay. Then... It's done. Now the Ashen White that it attacked tries to attack it back, wielding its necrotic shards as if they're daggers. Uh, 14's a miss. 18 connects and does 8 piercing, um, which seems to affect it fully. And um, 6 necrotic, which also seems to affect it fully. So 14 damage. First blood on the auger. And then the other Ashen White, I forgot to roll his save. His con save. I forgot to roll both her saves. What was the uh, fire damage I did? 26 fire. Uh, he did make it, so it took half of 26, it's 13, and was able to make that attack. Then the other guy, it's con save, does not make it, took the full 26, and I'll roll his initiative for next round. He's even slower than his friend, that's the end of that round. Next round, Titus is back on the ground, death save Titus. That's a hey. red one for you, and then your spirit. And then, uh, so the fire spirit saw that it did nothing to the auger guy, so I guess it will shoot at this one. He's helping us. Uh, so, all right. Uh, the fire spirit is pretty smart. Uh, he'll he'll just come over. He'll disengage to come by me. After Titus is Jeff. Turn. All right. Jeff will bonus action hide. All right. Move up to there. Hit the auger. That's a hit. All right, and we'll try to menacing attack it. Okay. So, 16? 16. Maybe I can... And Fright might be immune to Fright. Oh, okay. Then I'll uh, attack again. Hit again. 21 for 12. Four. Okay. And then I'm going to back up Action Surge and give Calphon a Potion of Healing. Nice. Uh, or who rolls that? Do I roll that? You can roll it. Yeah. <clears throat> That. And you can give yourself Seven. back inspiration cool. and Caliphon just in time for your turn. Oh, well, thank you so much. I'll keep moving. I will, I will stand. Oh, am I off? Yeah. I will stand up. I will step two forward, drop my sword, pull out my bow. I will say something very menacing but not believable, and I will hit the thing with the longbow. Uh, 21 for 6. Shot. And your and longbow is in any way... Actually, it doesn't matter. It does affect it's, you. It's magical. Okay. Uh, 26 for 17. No, no, no. 16. Nice. Not not 16. I, I can't do math. 18? Uh, 18. Thank you right. so much. Shot. <laughs> Put a chink in the thing, and it kind of grinds to a stop for a second, then it breaks that arrow and gets going again. Uh, after Califon, Gimbal. All right. Uh, Gimbal will climb up the uh, ladder and give Titus his other <laughs> pure wind. Okay. Or a potion. All right. And by his, just to be clear, I mean Titus's other one. Titus's other one, right. It's Lone not return. Have to give away his products for free. <laughs> <laughs> Only samples are free. That's exactly right. <laughs> they climb back down. Hey, Loom's moving his mark to the auger. Okay. And shooting it. That is a 27. A or it is... 15. Probably immune to psychic. Depending on whether it's psychic vulnerable. Huh. It's not immune to psychic. Okay. So it takes the full well, um, 15. Take another one. You hit again. And you grind it to a stop. The thing stops Yay. right there. Well done. The, uh, the three dwarves go back to their fake mining of the wall. Ignoring you all. All right, let's get those I prisoners. I assume you don't attack them. <laughs> no. 
yeah, let's get the prisoners out and then uh, explore some of those blank areas that we haven't looked in yet. Okay. Yeah. And by and, uh, which Rome means let's take a long rest and then explore some of those blank areas <laughs> we've not explored yet. Well, oh, here. come on. Where do I've, you got, want? I've got some healing for you guys. Where do you oh, want the okay. uh, prisoners all... to go? Yeah, so do you want to... I mean, we know we've wiped out the entire top floor, as so we might want to just take them to the... Oh, let's go up to that uh, healing spa. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Well, before we go there, um, well, let me do some healing on us. Okay. Uh, uh, it's okay for me to cross, right, Tom? Yeah. I'm going so if we all just gather up here, uh, while the spirit is up... I will cast an aura of vitality. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, aura. <laughs> uh, so I will take that first five, crappy five. And then, let's see, I will drop some on Jeff, uh, which won't get the other spirit. Hey, there you go. I... Apparently, my aura just sucks. So, uh, so take three. Three, okay. Thanks. Yeah, because I, I only get the spirit once, right, Tom? That's right. Yeah, one roll. The spell. Yep. So... Uh, super. Let's see if I can roll like higher than twos on two d sixes. That'd be that'd be enjoyable. So uh, let's go to Califon. Hey, there we go. At least that's five. Thank you so much. Uh, then we'll go back to Jeff. I can uh, let me. I can um, second wind. So All right. give that to well, somebody else. No, here, take that nine. Okay. Because I've still got you know I'm not even halfway done with this thing, and we'll go back to Califon. Uh, take 10. Here you go. That's that's getting better. That's getting better. Thank you. And then I'm halfway done, so I'll give this one to me. Ooh, there we go. Just had to get warmed up. And then, uh, let's see, Jeff, you're doing second wind? I can, yep. I'll go ahead and do that. Just so I can keep, you know, keep us evenly up. Uh, I'll give this one to Gimbal, actually. Okay. Gimbal gets eight. And then, uh, looks like Califon. Califon gets nine. Ooh. Mm. Okay, I've got two more. Califon just got some. Uh, looks like Gimbal is the next one. So Gimbal gets seven. And I will give myself the last one. Oh, you know what? Loam needs some. Loam, here you go. Seven. Thank you. All well, right. it's better than a poke in the eye. Who will Good take up. the lead? And where do you want to go? I still say we take them upstairs to that hidden uh, uh, spa. To the Turkish bath. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you can move you guys up to there. You take the elevator up. She takes you up into this chamber. And the Turkish bath is, bath is nearby. And the Turkish bath. Let's see. There's the natural pool there, brimming with burbling turquoise water. Uh, sparkles with an inviting, tranquil glow. And you... Anyone who wants to partake of it will get another d6 hit points back. You can each roll individually. And that reinvigorates your prisoners. And they're happy to wait there in secret until yep, you're ready to leave. That's... We get how much back? 1d6. Which you can roll. Jeez. <laughs> it's better than poke in the eye. It's just funny how many ones that were rolled on that 1d6 bonus. All right. So after you finish soaking, where do you want to go? Head back down and explore the rest of the mines. Okay. All right, I, guys, I can do I can do one more aura. Oh, nice. Should you guys want to use that? But then I am I only have one second level slot left, and I'm going to be completely. Uh... I say we go ahead and do the aura, get up to full, go explore as much as we can, and then after another tough encounter like we just had, that'll be it. Okay, so after the the second auger, we find okay. Yeah. Right. Exactly. No all right, uh, Tom, I'm just going to roll some D6s rather than click the thingy, if that's okay. Yeah, it's fine. All right, uh, so this way, because it, it just me hovering over it is slowing down. So then we'll go, who is the lowest? I am the lowest. So I go to me for five, and then I will go to Jeff for six, and then I will go to Gimbal for nine, Califon for nine. Thank you. Uh, Califon for nine, and then Loam for six. Then based on where people are at, uh, let's see. Loam, did you get your six? I did, thanks. Okay, gotcha. No, I'm just trying to see who I give it to as we're going forward. So then that was five, so I've got five more. 
So we will go on myself for seven, and then Jeff for ten. Yes. And then Loam for nine, and then Califon. I'm gonna hold off on you. Yeah, I'm almost. I'm at fifty and fifty-seven. Yep. I'm just looking to see. Okay, Loam. Uh, I've got two more. So Loam, you get ten, and I will take the last one for seven. Nice. Okay. Jeff, are you in the lead? Who's in the lead? I'll take the lead. Let me sneak around, guys. Let's try to stay out of combat. If where do you want to go, Jeff? Um, I guess from here, let's head uh, this way with the auger. All right. You can see uh, d- going down the auger's path, uh, most of the chamber to the west through an opening in the wall there to the west. And it Ooh. is just a disgusting pile of sewage, goblin sewage, no less. Um, you see train tracks going over the t- or mine tracks going over the top of it there. Um, yeah, that's about all you can see. Then uh, the chamber ahead is all this big, huge connected chamber that the auger was in. And in this chamber, you see stacks of crates, some half covered by dusty tarps, um, others nailed shut. You hear the creak of metal echoing from the conveyor of buckets overhead that just kind of swings in the uh, hot air currents coming off the magma. There is the minecart tracks passing through the northwest end of the cavern, and that is it. All right, can we search that all those crates and whatnot? You bet. You find about 30 pounds of unrefined iron ore, which you could probably sell to a smith in Bandolin for some good chunk of change. In the sealed crates, prying them open. In the first one you pry open, you find a magic item. It's a gem of brightness, a prism. You can use light or a beam of light or a cone of light. Uh, I can't even blind people. And the next one you open up, there are four large chunks of blue quartz worth uh, by 30 gold pieces each. And the last one you open, there's a fist-sized piece of amethyst worth about 250 gold. Nice. All right, now we're to... Yeah, no, no other exit other than the... Correct. Okay, all right. Uh, I will move to, like, here-ish. Okay, so you can see the mine tunnel. goes over... Um, goes over a tunnel below and then on into another chamber so this tunnel below goes into a cave you'd have to hop off of the tracks down to the lower level here which is basically on the same level as the sewage just barely above the sewage uh, in order to see what's inside that cave to the northeast okay um we can come I back can get to somebody that. down there because this fire spirits with us until an hour has passed since the fight with these guys will you let me know when that is tom yeah we'll do Oh, your fire then, spirit to go uh, in, you said? Well, no, I'm going to just use the fire spirit to teleport somebody that wants to go in there. Oh. Mm-hmm. Anyone want to volunteer? Not me. Not yet, at least. Sure. I'll go. Okay, hello. All right. Well, the fire spirit will be with you, you know? That's very reassuring. Yeah, you know, and he, he's going to be the fire. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. It'll just be another auger. It'll be fine. Okay. So you teleport down below Loam. Actually, to the square you can see to be this square here. But you can see a cave the northeast and inside that cave is um, a statue of a heroic dwarf wearing ceremonial armor but the monuments broken into large chunks the statue's decapitated head is lying on the floor scrawled into the statue's base is a strange symbol you don't recognize there are smears of a strange dark dripping fluid that mar that symbol um do you have any religion skill, Loam? Do I? I do, yeah. Oh, okay, then you do actually recognize this symbol. Uh, this is Ilsensign. Ilsensign is the patron deity of the Illithid Empire. So, scrawled on the statue's base is the patron deity of the Illithid Empire, the Mind Flayer Empire, but that has been smeared over by a strange, dark, dripping fluid. Um, so, that... That flu that's smeared over the top of it's recent. The original illithid scrawling might be very old. Uh, 
is rubble all about? And about that time, you sense something happening. Everyone take up where you want to be standing as Loam's looking into the cave there. Once you're happy where you're standing, roll initiative. Okay. Got a stealth check of a nine. So, despite it not being where you guys were looking, you hear something coming up out of the sludge to the southwest. And emerging out of it is an Adiug. Similar to the one you had seen before in Vandalin. But this one's strange in that it's almost semi-transparent. I mean, translucent. Its skin is pale, and there's something glowing inside of it, giving off like an inner glow to it as well. Uh, it is trying to sneak up onto Loam to attack him. So, roll your old initiative. Its initiative is... Not very good. Every one of you hacks before it does. <laughs> well, I never rolled a one. <laughs> and the first person to go will be Titus. Poop demon. Uh, all right. Well, Titus is going to uh, produce some flame. Like, I feel like it moves on me whenever I'm looking on the menu of options, and I know that's not true. 17. That is a hit. For uh, an amazing five points of fire. Okay. And, and then we will have the fire spirit. Uh, let's see. Are we adjacent-ish to it, or, or do we feel threatened okay, so, up here? Okay, so let me describe this a little better. So... You guys are up here on these tracks, which pass through this cavern 10 feet above the sludge. Loam is down below the tracks at the same level as the sludge. But Titus, you're up above, 10 feet above Loam, basically. Your right, fire spirit, but, of course, be wherever you want him to be. Right, yeah, he's down there with Loam. He's okay. back up. Okay. So if, I, if the fire spirit is here at 5 feet below me, it would be adjacent to the, uh, the other guy, right? Correct. Okay, so then we're going to fiery teleport from here. And uh, Jeff, you're free to teleport anywhere within 15 feet. Mm. It fails at save and takes five fire. Yep, I'm just doing it in case you need to move at least that much. Yep, end of turn. Okay, let me tell you what you see over there, uh, Titus. You're in a cave with a number of minecarts in it. Looks like they're all in various states of disrepair. The tracks here are rickety. The minecarts are rusty. The ground is littered with ancient refuse. Um, there's some open crates filled with dust-covered tools lining the walls. And propped against the crates are some dwarven skeletons. Their skulls shattered and caved in. Nothing All right, moving I'm about. I'm sorry for pulling the next encounter, guys. Nothing for moving yeah. about. So, Caliphon, you're next. All right. Uh, with my long sword, I will come down. One, two. I'll fly down. Um, and I will strike with my long sword twice. Uh, 15 for 12, uh, 23 for 5, and I will talon it, and, and I'm calling this ahead of time. I'm going to talon this and put a stun. I'll, I'll expend a key point to do or attempt a stun. Uh, 25 for 9, and 12 con, save negates. So this is how you do that, Calavan, just for your reference. The uh, stun triggers on a hit, so you click your attack. Do I have to announce uh, anything? Then you say, I hit armor okay. class 25, and I'm going to stun. Then I'll do okay, the stun, Roger. and then you tell me the damage. That way you don't. Roger. The only reason is because that way you don't know if you kill him with your attack versus not kill him. Yeah. And therefore save I can stun. see Calphine, I can see Calphine trying to stun a dead body, though. That would be... <laughs> he makes the save, took nine magic slashing. All right. And I will move back. Okay. After Calphine comes Jeff. Okay, so I am 10 feet up above it and Correct. behind a wall. That's behind a wall. You can walk out onto the trestles over here, or you can walk yep. on over the trestles over here. So I'm going to bonus action, hide. Nice. And then, yeah, step out onto the trestle there. And we'll be there. And attack it. And... Mm, all right. No, yeah, that's it. Yeah, so 24 for 8. And, meh, what is that? 13 for 10, but that's probably a miss. 13 does miss, yep. Bounces yeah, off its then. rubbery skin, then Gimble, your turn. Back up there. Okay, with one, two, three, four, five to there, and I'm going to shoot at the uh, Uh I'm assuming a 13 still misses. It does. So, <laughs> that's it. Okay, then Loam, your turn. Going to move his Hunter's Mark to the Odiug, and uh, give it a little... Shot from the bow. That's that a hit. 16. 23 damage. 23. Nice. 
Nice hit. All right. And a better and shot. Badiug is dead. 14. So the corpse of this giant thing is floating there in the pile of sludge and refuse and uh, excrement. There's something glowing within its gullet. How deep do we think this uh, sludge is? Mm, you're not sure. It's pretty opaque. I will send yeah. the fire spirit to go look Probably. in the poop. Okay. It can uh, tear its way into the flesh, and it comes out with a mining pick. And the mining pick is a luminous war pick. The haft of the war pick is laid with crushed pearlescent stones that imbue the weapon with a faint luminescence, plus one attack and damage, bonus to cast the daylight on a point on the war pick. Whoa. Spot. All right. Nothing else of value in its gullet. All right. I guess let's go uh, meet up with Titus. Or no, did you want to, were you done in that chamber with the statue? Chamber with the statue. There's Anybody a else bunch of rubble all around the statue them? and statue parts. And of course, the symbol of the uh, illithid and marred over the top. Do I have any sense of what that uh, substance that's smeared on the uh, inscription is? Mm, looks like excrement. Oh, okay. Anybody Taste it to make sure. <laughs> no, I know excrement when I see it. Okay. All right. Somebody get me out of here. Do we want to investigate it? Was there yeah. any? Jeff's Gimble's, willing that. To, Gimble's willing to go investigate it. Gimble's right. not about to permit. Well, then, then here, Titus will give Gimble a uh, guidance and we'll teleport you down there so you don't have the chance of falling in the poop. That's fine. Gimble's fascinated by the concept of poop. Makes no sense that that comes out of your bodies. <laughs> uh, right, Gimble, 19. What are you investigating, Gimble? I'll investigate the statue itself. The statue itself? Okay. Uh, okay. You find nothing. Okay. Then I will investigate the rest of the room as well while I'm here. The rubble? Looking through the rubble, you find a ring Ooh. buried in the rubble. And it looks like a ring of a mind shield. Oh, Old ring with stylized brain emblem. That's all you find. Well, that's crazy. We found nothing last time. This time we're finding. I know. You guys managed to somehow <laughs> avoid all treasure last time. <laughs> All right, uh, the fire spirit will act as a teleport elevator to get you guys back up so you won't fall in the poop. So you guys have searched this chamber and this chamber and this chamber. You have not searched... I guess the fire elemental could have been searching through the poop. Didn't find anything there. And then this sure. last one left, I think, right? I think, so. I think so. Okay, so in this chamber, searching it, you find... Remains of three Duergar. From the Elithids invasion long ago. Their skulls looks like they had their brains extracted. Minecarts are all in disrepair. You find on one of the skeletons some cobweb covered bracers. And these bracers are. Cool new magic item. Bracers of Celerity. Lightweight bronze bracers lined with soft purple velvet and grayed with swirling designs. Plus 10 feet to your speeds. Advantage on saves to avoid or in paralyzed or restrained. Jeff likes celery. Yeah. Okay, let's take a break here. It's 36 after, so let's come back at 46 after. Okay, we're back, and you guys have basically explored the whole lower level. So now, when you come back to the upper level, I'm going to move you up there. There you go. Really, only two things left. It's, do you want to mess with these dwarves in here at all? Or do you want to do anything about that secret door there? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that secret door. I would say leave those dwarves alone. I mean, we know where the tracks go. I don't see... We didn't see anything of interest in there, right? Like treasure or anything? Uh, let me describe what you see. Okay, there's floor-to-ceiling glass windows overlooking the churning lava below. There are three large blackened anvils standing in a row. You see weaponry and armor littering in the room. Oh. Uh, stationary conveyor buckets 20 feet above. And that is it. That's up to you guys. I can try to fly through to the other side. But I might pull something or I might be down by one of the... Uh the guys but they didn't chase us in the other room that might that's true sure up sure up here as well but, so no but i mean we know where the other side goes right like that's where the uh auger was yeah that's right that's where that goes yeah. oh yeah well maybe the secret door but did we find any clues at all no clues at all if there is a sequence to follow it's not written down anywhere that you've found hmm. Hmm. let me describe that room to you real quick too yeah see here so that is uh there's the large plush four poster bed there covered in silk sheets you searched that thoroughly you found a secret compartment but nothing related to the secret door 
Stone shelves, bearing books and ornamental ceramic jars, dust-covered banners embroidered with dwarven ruins, an elegant mahogany desk, top of which has a map and several crumpled notes. You've searched all of this and found nothing related to that door. There are ruins on the on the door. Um, four dwarvish ruins from left to right say storm, death, light, and wind. I'll type that in for you. Left to right, storm, death, <clears throat> light, and wind. Yeah, I really have no clue. Storm. Do this match any of the statues? I'll ask Loam or, or Gimbal if this matches any of the statues they looked at. Yeah, you found... There's nothing here that gives you the sequence. Right. You've searched everywhere. Right. No religion chat. Right. Nope. Okay. You have no sequence and no way of finding the sequence. Okay. Just have to experiment. Unless the words themselves mean anything. Yeah, I mean, all may, I can go... They may or may not. They're all five letters except for wind is four. That's all I can... And there's no discernible order. I'm going to... Gimbal's going to try something. And everybody should get out of the room when he does. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me twice. Uh, Gimbal's going to try uh, it in this order. Death, light, storm, wind. All right, Gimbal. Um, when you touch the ruin for death, that's the first one you touch, right? Yep. You take uh, 5d8. Golly. Yeah, we'll take 23 necrotic damage. 15 deck okay. save negates it. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my inspiration. Okay. And we did take a long rest. Nope. Yep. <laughs> All right. So uh, you said it was a 15 deck yeah. save? Yeah. So 23 yeah. necrotic. All right. That hurt. Okay. Well, that was my idea. All right. Well, I'm going to try one just because I felt bad. For, for you guys, you want to me to tell the fire spirit to do one? Uh, wouldn't it hurt it? Yeah, but it'll come back. Yeah, yes. <laughs> if uh, I had a familiar, I'd have it do it. Okay. It's the purpose yeah. of familiars. I'm going to try just in, like, unless you have an idea, just try it in the order that it's in. So <laughs> that would be, be do, <laughs> do storm, death, light, wind. I, I don't know. I don't see any order with it. Yeah, I thought maybe uh, alphabetical, but that was wrong. So, all right. Um, it doesn't seem to respond at all to the fire spirit. It doesn't harm the fire spirit, nor does anything happen when the fire spirit touches all the ruins. Mm. All right. Mm. Well, we tried. But, oh, no, we, we, we tried with fire all right. spirit. I'm going to do one, just because why not go down for the fourth time in one evening? I will do light, wind, storm, death. So when you touch light, you take radiant yeah. damage. 15 dex save yep. negates it. Yep. It's going to be 35 radiant. Wow. Holy crap. Yeah. So, Jeff, uh, since it seems like dexterity is negating this, maybe uh, you could try it next. Oh. Okay. These are saving throws? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Anybody have a uh, resistance? Am I the only caster? Well, I'm a caster, but I don't have resistance. I mean, I'm not a caster, I'm an inventor, an alchemist extraordinaire, somebody who creates what would seem to be magical effects, but from mundane um, objects, which almost makes me even more amazing than where's, a where's typical the, caster. Where, where's the off switch on this thing? I hear the words, and all I'm, <laughs> but all that I'm actually like hearing is like the difference between a magician and an illusionist. <laughs> all right, Jeff. All right. What, what, so, what have we chart? We've tried death first, and we've tried light, 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 first. light first. Oh, jeez. Um, all right. I'll try I'm gonna storm. Get, I'm gonna get when storm you press storm, light. nothing happens to you. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Write that um, down. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh man, we already know what death does, but. What did death do? How much necrotic? 5d8 necrotic? Oh, man. Dex save negated. That's true. That's true. And I have my inspiration. All right. I'll go with death. Nothing happens. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, uh, man. Well, okay. Fine. Light. Nothing happens. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, there's only one left, so win. All right. The door opens. 
Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Be kidding, People be put kidding. that combination on their luggage. Yeah. yeah. One, two, One, two three, three, four. Four, five. Hey, that's the combination of my luggage. <laughs> oh my god. The password is password. All right. Yeah, for real. Okay, that opens up into a vault full of stale air and treasure. There's a dust-covered assortment of coins and gemstones and cloth. There's 56 platinum, 350 gold, a bunch of silver, a bunch of copper, pieces of jade, a large peridot stone with 500 gold, three richly woven but dusty Duergard tapestries with 75 gold each, a velvet brocade with 145 gold. So you're looking at a couple thousand worth of treasure. Good God. And you collect it all. Nice. All right, guys, do we want to risk those doors or we just want to get the heck out of here? Uh, no, I think, I think we already know what that goes to. I've yeah, I mean, the, only, the only thing I would I've say got... is there's weapons and armor in there that might be correct. But... Yeah, I've got one more heal for Caliphon, <laughs> and, then I'm, and then I'm out, guys. Yeah. And remember, this is just the end of the last adventure. Like, we haven't even started the... <laughs> The next and thing. and maybe we can maybe we can uh, uh, canalize them, you know, by opening the door and doing like hit and run tactics. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. That's only the there's only the one entrance. Yeah. An exit in there. All right, I'm down for whatever. All right, here you go, Califon. I'll heal you up, Gimbal. You just stay back. Yep. Because if they could if they could go through walls, they would have already done that. By now. All right, last spell slot, second level cast of cure wound. Huh? Hey, nice. 20 hit points. That's a uh, poke in the eye. It's pretty impressive, and I'll spend a key point. I'm guessing I can do this out of combat, Tom, and do a quick heal. Yeah, if you have key points. I have a ton. I'll have four now. Sound more impressive before you told us the number. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, uh, do you want me to go first? Um and what's the tactic? Am I just going to go in and see if we actually get a reaction? Oh, they're going to attack. You think? Yeah, last time, I, uh, if I remember right, they didn't they respond to our presence last time? Well, no, I think last time they didn't know we were, I think, I don't remember. We were so sneaky. Yeah, I think oh, maybe you're right. Yeah, well, hey, hope for the best. Actually, Start I guess, forward. I mean, well, yeah, I was going to say, I could try to sneak it and just start taking stuff. Do we have yep. detect magic or something to see if any of these weapons and armor are worth grabbing? Don't bring logic to this game. I can use another charge off the staff to do a pass without a trace. Mm, I don't think that's worth it. I would, I, because I, I mean, if we're going in there to do anything, it seems like sneaking in is not going to do it. We're going to end up fighting them anyways. I, it would almost be better to, I don't know. We, yeah, shoot. No, never mind. I, I mean, because to 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 your point, if we were just able to sneak in there and see if they ha have anything worth taking, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I will stealth in and see if there's what? anything. I'll take well, what's, your, two. what's your stealth like? Plus six. I got a plus eight and advantage because of the boots. Yep. That sounds like you're going to sneak in. So if I could get a pass without trace on top of that, then. Yep. I will spend a charge on my staff and uh, do a pass without trace once we're all come back ready in our positions. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> so these dwarves, let's see, they are standing at their anvils. They are pan pantomiming metalwork in the eerie synchronization, synchronization. And with your minimum stealth check of around a 21, you can sneak around in there, no problem. Oh yeah. <laughs> now you gotta stay within thirty feet of the door, and at which point your stealth will drop to just plus ten once you pass that distance. So make one stealth check for me okay. at plus ten. Oh geez. Well, seventeen. No. Fifteen. Yeah. Fifteen. 15 you had to vanish, which didn't matter because you rolled two sevens. So fifteen is enough. You yes. able to get in there and find amongst the weapons and armor as you stealth on the wall. Crawling from point to point, in a pesky goblin like you are, uh, you find several things of value. Oh, nice! A long sword decorated with shimmering filigree, mm -hmm. worth about two hundred mm -hmm. gold. A bronze breastplate mm -hmm. studded with quartz, worth about five hundred gold. A gold-tipped 
javelin. Oh. Javelin of lightning. Nice. And a set of delicate silver bracers of archery. Oh. And you pull all that out of there without uh, getting the dwarves on top of you. Excellent. Whew. All right. All right, guys. Let's get out of here. Yep. Okay. You make your way back to civilization, back to Fandolin, uh, with your rescuees in tow. And they are very grateful to be back to their families. Um, you are rewarded with a big feast when you get in Fandolin. Uh, there's still plenty of sad people there, though, that you know are now coming out of the woodwork, describing to you all their missing family members. Mm-hmm. And some of the outlying farms, it seems, have been impacted by these uh, kidnappings as well. And so there's a grand total of around 10 more people missing. Uh, oh. So they urge you as fast as you can to chase after any clues you have. And the only ones you have is the map showing the three locations in the uh, in the hills to the east. Before you head that direction, though, you'll get a level up to 7th level, and that's split up this nice. treasure. So you found... I'm just going to do a block here. Okay. So you found Bracers of Archery, Bracers of Celerity, Gem of Brightness, Javelin of Lightning, Luminous Pick. That was it. So one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna be seventh level, which means you're gonna have four permanent items. So everyone who wants any of those five items, roll a D twenty. Oh one. Oh my god. That's all right, Jeff. I don't think it also wants to have bracers. You might be okay. Oh, I can see myself really uh, getting some good use out of those bracers of archery. <laughs> okay. Do they apply to arm cannons. <laughs> Gimbal, you're first. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we all know what I want. Um, and it is going to be, uh, I think, the Gem of Brightness. Gem of Brightness. Now, do you have four yet, or are you still at three? I'm still at three. You're still at three. Okay. So Gem, Bright to Gimbal. Second pick on that list is a yeah, tie for RL and Loam. Or California Loam, so <laughs> go to real guys. Your mighty fives. Okay, RL, what do you like? Uh, oh, oh loam. can't do this to you. Um, I already have um, uh, bracers of archery. Oh, then that's what I take. So, one hundred percent, I take that. Uh, bracers are of no use to me. Okay. Well, I thought you might need them, but I will take them. All um, right. Next happily. to go is loam. Uh, then I'll take the javelin of lightning. Oh, I got one of those too. Oh, I'm sorry. Come- uh, Califon, are you uh, still at four or less? I had two. Yes, okay. right. yes, sir. And then, Chapel of Lightning, are you at four or less? Loam? I think you are. I think I am. Okay. Then we have uh, Titus. Luminous pick or Bracers of Celerity? I think that another could use the Bracers more than I, and War Picks really aren't my bag. So, so you I pass. Okay, Bracers of Celerity or Luminous War Pick, Jeff? I will take the Bracers of Celerity. Pretty cool. Bracers. Yeah, I've never, I've, You say that was new? Because I've never heard of that. Yeah, that's new to this adventure. Okay, does anyone want a plus one War Pick? Or we throw a that little, aside? Donate a it. A little hard pass. Yeah, donate it. Yeah. No takers? No. No. Okay. Mm-mm. Okay, it's actually going to be a short night tonight. We'll cut it off there. Wow. And when we come back in a week, you guys will be seventh level, long rested, uh, and off. I mean, if you want, to the Star Metal Hills to find these locations. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, send me your characters as soon as you have them updated to seventh level. Cool. And thanks for playing. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you. you so much. All right. Good time, guys. Thank you. Night, everyone. Night, everyone. Night. Night.